Yo, today we'll clean dirty Logitech Wireless MK220 keyboard that's full of dirty stuff and some coffee. I apologize about my clumsiness. Right now some keys are slow-mo, that means they slowly return back. Hey, but at least they're working. Before doing something, make sure you remove batteries to avoid damaging them and keyboard. Then just screw open all small screws so we can disassemble the keyboard and separate parts that should be washed. When it's done, carefully open up the keyboard, but don't break anything if you plan on using it again. Then take your most expensive toothbrush <laughs> and clean out the dust, if there's any. Keep separating keyboard into parts. Shit, I dried it out for a week, but you can still see my spilled coffee. Unscrew the screws to separate washable parts from non-washable. Just remember how everything was connected before. We will not wash this control panel. If it's covered with dust, just sweep it off with wet cloth. The keypad membrane and keyboard itself will go washy washy. Because both parts have been hit by a coffee airstrike. It is best to do it in shower or bath where there is access to a lot of water with pressure. Use your shower gel, warm water and previously used toothbrush. And rinse it truly, do not forget to do the same with the membrane. Shake it off excess water from membrane and keyboard to speed up the drying process. Then we drain excess moisture with a towel on both the membrane and keyboard itself, so that it can be dried faster afterwards. Keyboard can also be cleaned apart from all the buttons. But then you can't clean dirt inside the keyboard, sadly. Keyboard can be dried in two ways. Naturally outside or on warm radiator, but it can take up to 24 hours. Second way is using hair dry for 5 minutes, but make sure you dry out all gaps in all sides. And here's the dry keyboard. Now we have to put everything back together and not forget all the small details. Put on the housing and screw it on with all screws. Put in the batteries, put on the cap and we can go test it out. That moment when everything is working how it should feels nice man. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments. If buttons do not work, you can open up the keyboard and check if there is contact with the board. See ya!